Imagine jumping forward to the next year of your life every few minutes. Well, that's the premise of the new film, Long Story Short, where a man must race against time as his life crumbles before him. Take a look. Do you know I've got a kid? Yeah, I know. Well, can you believe that? A kid? Uh, yeah, I've had time to process it. Exactly right. Okay, that's my point. What is? All right, I'm just going to say it, okay? okay please. Every few minutes, another year goes by. Wow, that's deep, man. Is that you or is that... No. Would you read that? Can no, I use that? No, I am being serious, okay? I'm being deadly serious. So what feels like a year for you is like a, is like a couple of minutes for me. And star of Long Story Short, Ronnie Chang is with us now. Welcome. Hey, nice to meet you. I, you know, I love the movie and, and what a premise for a movie coming out of a pandemic where kind of time and, uh, and yeah. life in general was as abnormal as it could be. But tell us about Teddy and what starts to happen to him in the film. The, the movie is basically a reverse Groundhog Day uh, where time goes quicker. Yeah. Uh, so every moment that you don't cherish, you kind of lose. That's yeah. kind of the message of the movie to kind of kind of hold on to the present. Yeah, because I think this this whole last year made us realize what we've been taking for granted, right? And and that kind Absolutely. of happens in this movie with with the speed up. You're like, oh my god, I'm 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 wasting yeah. my life. I'm wasting my time. And I think a lot of people felt that way. And I think one silver lining of the pandemic was that it kind of made us all stop and look up a bit. It sure did, right? And yeah. and for a, a a bit of an extended period period of time. In fact, in some cases, probably too long. This was probably the most dramatic role I've had to do. Yeah. Um, there's some there's some on screen crying which I I never had to do before. In, How was it? <laughs> uh, it was fr frighteningly, uh, scarily easy. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it that's, was scary. How that's good, easy it was to right? Do it. Yes, that's good. I think. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that means the emotions are right at the surface for you. It's Ronnie. right there. It's all great. I mean, right now, I want to cry right now. Okay, it's all <laughs> but you're not just dealing with time travel. You're dealing with a lot of relevant things every night on The Daily Show. Uh, talking about cryptocurrency, talking about NFTs, oh. talking about firework oh. dangers. Has okay. there ever been a topic that you have wanted to dive deep into that's just been shut down? No, I, I mean, we look, the whole building, everyone from the receptionist up to Trevor is we can can pitch ideas. Awesome. It's an open pitch building. Naturally, 99% of everything we pitch doesn't make it to the show because right. there's just so much. Yeah, That's awesome that it's it's a group effort like that. Um, yeah. You know, you're going back on tour uh, for yes. what you, uh, Hope You Get Rich tour. You're, you're yes. testing some material out. What was it like the first time you got back on stage after the oh, pandemic? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was like riding a bicycle that you love again yeah. after like a year and a half you know and the energy is great and people are happy to be there the comics are happy to be there yeah. and um it, it's back again you know and so for and me it was the best thing well yeah. you have so many tv and film projects going on uh, i hear that you are joining the marvel universe what can we expect uh i'm actually more scared of marvel security than i am of the government so i don't know if, how much i can tell you about it so it's the first uh, asian american marvel superhero movie from what little I've seen, it looks really, really cool. The trailers look cool. If you don't believe me, check out the trailers. But, you know, listen, you've talked a lot about challenging Asian stereotypes on screen. How do you think these roles that you're choosing are, are challenging that? The, the key for me when I'm looking at a role is, does it portray Asian people with power and dignity? In some cases, the roles I'm playing don't even, aren't even written for Asian people, which yeah. I think is a good thing for me because it's, it's like, oh, this character was just a person. And so those are the kind of roles that really attract me. And if we are going to tell Asian stories in America, I think we need to kind of tell them with power and dignity. I'm very lucky to be part of that little bit of moving the needle to kind of fight racism in America. You know, you can catch uh, Long Story Short. It is in theaters, on demand and digital now. Ronnie, thank you so much for taking the time. No, thanks for speaking to me. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your quarantine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.